Hey guys, SG12 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to farm the MAX Angelus Zero mech in Final Fantasy XV's postgame. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, uh, Angelus Zero drops the best accessory in the game in the current version of the game, which is called the Magitech Suit Version 2. This item uh, increases your uh, strength, vitality, and maximum HP the, uh, the best method way possible. So. There's no item that does uh, that gives you better stat boosts than the uh, version 2 Magitech suit. So stacking these, uh, all three of them on a character is amazing. As you can see, my Noctis has a 9999 HP and really good strength. So anyways, um, the setup. What you're going to want is Axe of the Conqueror, Sword of the Father, and Star of the Rogue. And also, uh, as well, Crossblades will be your main method of uh, DPSing uh, Angelus Zero. Uh, you can get as well crossblades from the final Randolph quest uh, in the post game, and these are just uh, you can get them from the tombs, the royal tombs. Anyways, um, for your accessories, uh, I imagine for you guys doing this for the first time, you're not going to have them, any Magitech suit variant. So what you're going to want is accessories that boost up your strength. So uh, you can use dark matter bracelets. You can use uh, where is it? You can use diamond bracelets, emerald bla bracelets, any bracelet that increases your strength is what you're going to want. And also for your attire, you're going to want Prince's Fatigues with no jacket as that boosts your strength as well. Uh, for Ignis, you're going to want the enhancement technique. This is very important because this is going to be how you're going to be doing your damage. So make sure you have that and ideally you want it maximum level. So make sure you have that as well. And uh, everything else doesn't matter. Um, what does matter though is you're going to want a certain type of food that you're going to have to have. Uh, you get this type of food from when Ignis reaches level 10 cooking. So I think it's called, it's some sort of soup, I don't remember the name of it. But as you can see here it's called the Golden Tail Soup. Uh, you get it from once Ignis reaches level 10 you automatically get the recipe. And the ingredients for it are purchased. The Kujata Marrow and the Alluril Shallot are purchased from uh, Lestalum Market. And the Platinum Merle Trout Filet is purchased from the Alticia uh, Mago market. But yeah, this is what, this is the one you're going to want because it guarantees critical hits. So make Ignis uh, cook that for you guys. Now before we farm Angelus Zero, what's really important is you're going to want to go Options, Difficulty, and put your difficulty to Easy. This is very important because we're going to be exploiting the Carbuncle Summon, which only appears on Easy Mode. So you don't want Normal Mode for this method of farming, you want Easy Mode for the Carbuncle buff. After that, you're going to come over here on the map, uh, just right north of Hammerhead, where we just camped over here. I like to go in somewhere around this area where the either here or here or here anywhere along this area is where you can get the imperial ships to spawn so come over here and here uh, imperial ships are gonna spawn every 30 seconds now what's important uh, Angelus Zero only spawns from these uh, ships if you beat uh, MAX Patria which is his little brother the level 76 mech now in order to get him to spawn uh, what the trick I'm about to tell you doesn't work on him, so you're pretty much going to have to kill all the soldiers that come out of the ships. So a ship will come in. Uh, you can use Blizziga. I like to uh, when I did this technique, I like to use Blizziga, and this kills the soldiers really fast. And you keep doing that every 30 seconds, every time a ship spawns until Max Patria spawns, which is the level 76 version. Then you can kill him, and after that you save and you reload. And then after then after you kill Max Patria, then Angel Zero will spawn. So Let's assume you did, you did all that. You're going to come over here. You're going to save your game. And then you're going to wait until a Imperial dropship appears. Now what we're doing is we're exploiting the uh, save, load, reload technique to force Angelus Zero to spawn. So let's say a uh, ship comes over here right now and it has soldiers in it. That's not what we want. We want Angelus Zero. So we're going to reload the save that we just created and just wait for Angelus Zero to spawn. Now he's a he's a rare spawn, so it's going it might take you a few loads to do this. I think it usually takes me like 6 or 7 before he finally appears. And as I uh, as I told you guys before, as you can see here, uh, Imperial dropship has appeared. Uh, it can either contain Angelus Zero or soldiers. So let's go ahead and see what it's going to have. Hopefully it's Angelus if we're really lucky. And no, it's Banner Soldiers. Okay, so 
If it's soldiers, what you're just gonna want to do is reload your save and wait again. It really it helps if you have a PS4 Pro with a solid state drive in it because the game loads a lot faster with the SSD. So just reload your save, come back, and wait for Angelus Zero to spawn. Okay, there he is. As you can see, uh, when Angelus Zero spawns out of the dropship, he makes a distinctive uh, saw, like a, almost like a chainsaw noise kind of thing, or like an engine noise, and that's when you know he's coming. So, And you can also see the two lights on his face, on his torso, and that's also how you know he's coming. So, right after he spawns, you're going to want to get under him and let him kill you. Now, you want to die in this fight immediately, because Carbuncle gives you... The carbuncle buff gives you a lot of damage, and as you can see here, he didn't really quite kill me yet. So, just stand still and let him kill you. You don't want to go in danger mode, you actually want him to kill you, kill you. Like, as in game over. But you're not going to get a game over because the game's on easy, so you're just going to get carbuncle. Uh, the carbuncle summon. So what I like to do is just use the start of the rogue on the legs to get myself already in danger mode. Or just let him kill me like that. Now it's annoying. The thing that's annoying about this is that your buddies are gonna keep trying to get you up. So you're gonna you want him to kill you. So as you can see, he didn't kill me there. Probably because I have three version two suits equipped. But anyways, I'm gonna just speed speed things up by killing myself with the royal arms. Hopefully this kills me, and it did. That's perfect. So as you can see here, uh, I died, but I'm not dead because I'm gonna get the carbuncle buff, which is ruby light. This is what you want. So you get that, then you use Enhancement with Ignis. What you want to do is, you want Ignis to give you two different elements to boost your damage. This is really annoying sometimes because the RNG in this game is terrible. So you can get three in a row, like I just got Lightning. And he just gave me Lightning again. So you don't want, you don't want the same element, you want two different ones to boost your damage. Hopefully he gives me something different this time. And he gave me Blizzard, which is good. So you want two different elements. And after you get that, you use your Zwill Crossblades, and you target the torso, and you just keep hitting the torso until you fill your armor gauge, which is what you want. This does a lot of damage too, but your main, your primary source of de uh, DPS is going to be the, the armiger. You can also, when he opens up his rocket launcher, you can use the Star of the Rogue and hit him for 9999 like five times, which depletes his health really fast. But this method works too. Make sure you watch out for the AA gun because it does it does do a lot of damage. But anyways, it doesn't really matter because I'm just showing you guys for video purposes. But my armor gauge is almost filled. After you fill up the armor, you're going to want to pop it. Uh, make sure you target the torso too. So pop the armor, target the torso, and go ham on his torso with the armor gauge. That's going to kill him really quickly. And as you can see here, he's dead. So, when he dies, he either drops the Magitek Suit version 1 or the Magitek Suit version 2. Version 1 has a 95% uh, chance to drop, and version 2 has a 5% chance to drop. So, you're pretty much going against the odds here. You're going to be doing this for a long time. I believe it took me 40 kills before I got my first version 2 suit. Uh, some people are going to be luckier than others. Other people are going to be unluckier. That's just how it is. It's all RNG. 5% um, unfortunately is very, very low. And I can show you guys my my uh, inventory right now, right here. Look how many version 1 suits I have compared to the version like the version 2 suits I have. This is my first I got my first one after this many kills. So it, it takes a long time. And then I got my second one. And then I got my third one, and then I just said I just stopped farming because it just takes too long. This is all from 10 hours of farming, so you're going to be doing this for a long time. But this is the fastest way to get the suit version 2. I believe the fight takes about 3 minutes of your time doing this method, and it's really, really quick, but uh, the odds are against you. And unfortunately, drop rate food doesn't help you either, so... Uh, make sure you make sure you use the crit food and not the drop rate food because the drop rate food doesn't affect his loot table at all. You're still going to be getting 95% uh, version 1 suit and 
5% version 2. But after you kill him, you're going to want to save. And then immediately reload your save. To uh, refresh the spawns and get him to appear again. So this is what you're going to be doing pretty much. You're going to be killing him, saving, reloading, and getting him to appear again. And keep killing him again over and over and over again until you get the version 2 suit. Like I said, it's going to take a long time, so be prepared to just sit there and farm for 10 plus hours. Unfortunately, because Square Enix decided to make the drop rate 5%. But, I mean, it is the best accessory in the game, so you can't really argue with that. But anyways, you're going to wait for the next dropship, 30 seconds. If it's soldiers, uh, reload the save. If it's Angelus, kill him, save, reload, and do it all over again. Um, some people on uh, the Final Fantasy XV Reddit have already gotten all their characters with version 2 suits, and this is just an insane amount of farming. For me, uh, three of them is fine on Noctis, since Noctis is my primary damage dealer anyway, but other people are going to want to get uh, 12 of these, which is going to take a, it's gonna take you a long time. Be prepared to be farming for like four or five days in a row. But um, anyways, that's pretty much what you do. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the description. Uh, I did not come up with this idea. Uh, I pretty much interpreted this idea from somebody else, so I'll leave their YouTube channel and their the original link of the Reddit thread in the description. Uh, all credit goes to the person in the Reddit thread because he came up with this method. I'm just making it easier for you guys to look at uh, in video form. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video, and happy farming. Hopefully you guys are luckier than I am and get more Magitech Suit version 2s. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace.